you've ever driven up and down I-95 for hundreds of miles, you've probably seen these signs from Pedro announcing south of the border, and you've probably said, someday we'll stop there. Most never do, but in this video, we decided to stop there and camp, and we'll share it with you. Well, good morning. We uh, hope you enjoyed our uh, Savannah video. We thought that was super fun finding that Airstream Cafe. Yes. And we have just entered South Carolina, up from Georgia. We're on the road to south of the border. Right. Probably someplace every person has probably driven by. On I-95. Yep. Going and, north. And we stopped there once and got tamales and they were absolutely horrible. But we're going to stop there again. Yes. This time we're going to camp there. Yes. So we're going to try and see what type of experience that is. I think on the docket is some margaritas and nachos. We'll see how that works out. And we're going to try and get a heavy dose of cheese and ch highway chits. Yep. This is entry part two as I've been told by my mom, never fight the site. And when we tried to back into that site after some maneuvering, it, we were sticking out, so. Yeah, we backed in beautifully. Was, that was not the problem, getting into it. Well, we but had, we we had just, to go our, through a roundabout. Or that site looked way. like it was a tent site because I don't <laughs> even think, site. I don't even, I think our hitch was in the road. <laughs> so we didn't fit and the dude sent us down the wrong way. So we paid the extra 10 bucks for the pull through. Yes, and this is gonna be a nice one, so. And we'll be closer to everything because we were really in the middle of nowheresville down at the bottom. So let's try this again with a little bit more success. Because this is called real camping. Sometimes the site just doesn't work out for you. And when it doesn't, you don't fight it. All right, so we are in 111. It should be just right by that Rockwood, I think. All right, let's go ahead and take a tour of our campsite here at South of the Border. You can see what we have is a pull-through 30 amp site. The, uh, as you can see, I've deviated from the norm. So if you've watched my previous video, you'll know that I've got my seatbelt through my door. I'll link that video up above, but that just says that I've deviated from my procedures a little bit. And that deviation is that we're staying hitched for tonight. But what's super cool, as you can see, we are perfectly level. So there's no need to level side to side, which is super nice. Again, this is a 30 amp site. It has, it's a pull through and what's really cool is it for our site, we've got hookups on both sides so that no matter which way we pull in, if we wanted to pull in the other way, we'd be able to hook up. It's also got a dump station. Sites are pretty big. More, definitely nicer than I thought they would be. And you can see here, they are, abs they are really building a lot of new sites. So that's really kind of cool that uh, they're expanding with a bunch of pull-throughs. You can see they're building all these new campsites here. We are in site number 111. And you can see us from the back. We're near the bathhouse and we'll go ahead and check that out. But overall, a super level, easy pull through site. The site that we had before was way too small for us and we stuck out as Cindy, I think, mentioned to you. This place is pretty empty. It seems like I would tend to believe that a vast majority, if not all, of the folks here our overnighters on their way to Florida or back, etc. Okay, we are here at south of the border. We are parked at the campground over there. So what's on our agenda right now, See, We're looking for a bar, maybe at the hotel there. Hopefully to find some margaritas, that's our goal. And some nachos with her. This is Americana cheese. At its best. That's where we had tamales a couple years ago, back in 2015, I think it was. Notable for their badness. It was horrible. So, yeah, let's check it out. Okay, so there's a few things you need to do if you're serious about drinking them around the world. One of them is like, say, a Guinness at Dublin, a Cabernet in Napa, 
and definitely a margarita at south of the border. And that's what we're doing here after our long drive. So we've got our chips and salsa, we've got two margaritas, and we're ready to really experience uh, south of the border here as we head back up north. So uh, not bad, I think they're pretty good. So we've just had our uh, salsa and chips and our margaritas over at the south of the border uh, motor inn over there. And now we're going to investigate that thing. Let's see if that's something that's cool to try out. So let's go. Two dollars. How about the bounce house? Um, I'm not doing the bounce house. Let's do the tower and take it though. I say so. Let's do it. Let's go. I don't know why I agreed to it. Yeah, I did. Can you? Well, oh, this is awesome. Oh, God. I, I should have tried the other way. Oh, why did I think the space theater was so hot? Oh, whoa. I can't do this. <laughs> oh, boy. Here we can see I 95 from the top of the sombrero. This is awesome. The water tower. Oh. See the water tower? The campground is under those trees right there. Great souvenir outlets on the planet, I think. What do you say? Well, of everything. Dreamcatcher. That's pretty cool. Look at all this. Let's show over there. Oh, you can get a jigsaw puzzle. It's kind of cool. $12.95. An emoji fun pack of stickers for $5. Ooh, tacos. Okay, girl. So, so, what are you buying? We're at Pedro's Pantry, so we're, get, we're getting some supplies for the Airstream. And I've never tried fried chicken skins before, so... Nor should you ever. <laughs> I'm try that. I love pork. Okay, I know you like crackle. I do like that. We're getting some random cookies, because we like cookies. Oh, that's some terrible snacks. <laughs> Okay, so that kind of ends our south of the border video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, definitely give us a thumbs up. Thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe because that helps our channel. And if, give, give us a comment below if there's something at south of the border that you tried that you absolutely liked. Or if, if you've you, ever been here before. Or if you've ever been here before because we found it very, very, very fun. So. I tell you, the campground is excellent. It exceeded our expectations. Um, this has been just a great slice of Americana. We definitely recommend coming here. So um, definitely check out our channel in the future for more cool stuff to do. And thanks for watching. See you next week, every Tuesday. See you for Love Summon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Hey, what have you got there? We have the fried chicken skins that we purchased at South of the Border at Pedro's Pantry yesterday. I've never tried these before. And we're going to open them using my handy dandy truck scissors that we always keep in the middle. And we're going to see how they taste. I am a baby bell. The thought of eating chicken skins disgusts me. Well, they look a lot like pork rinds. Let's sort of see what they look like.
And they taste a lot like pork fries. It'll taste like chicken? Yes. They're not gross. But I do like the skin on chicken anyway. I might not get these again, because they're probably not very healthy. But fried chicken skin? Yeah, I would think that's not healthy. For a dollar forty-nine. Good snack. Good treat. Not bad.